Libra, what it be, bruh? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again one time for the one time, yes, indeed, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of July 2021. Baby, we're here to have some fun, baby. Yes, ma'am. I've missed you guys. I hope you guys missed me. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of my babies who have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if this video resonates or you just want to send some love to your girl you know what i'm saying yes ma'am all right so um if there's anyone that would like to book a personal private reading with me the only thing you need to do is click the description box of this video or uh go on my youtube page and hit the about tab all my links are there go ahead and um click that link that says instagram and send me a message on instagram messenger and just uh let me know that you want to book with me if you don't have instagram messenger shoot me an email at scorpion and reds at gmail.com and i will hook you up and make sure i get you on this schedule you hear me all righty so um libra you know as we always do we always give love and praise and acknowledgement and flowers to father god before uh we ask for any guidance so if you wouldn't mind bow your head with me uh let's say a quick prayer father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of libra we thank you so much for shining in and just showing your presence every day in our life father god we thank you so much for removing us from strife and we thank you so much for just giving us the protection and just giving us the glory because they don't know our story father god we are some fighters father god and we thank you so much for just shielding us and helping us stay out of our own way for god, for christ's sake you know sometimes that's just hard you know so father god i thank you so much for just showing us how to just be um stable we've really been focused on just being balanced and just having some stability and just being like a true force of nature father god we've been really trying to come through and show up and show out father god so we just thank you so much for all of this you know happiness and joy and just pleasure just resonating in our life father god we see all of these open doors and we're taking all of the opportunities father god we're taking every last single one of them and we're just gracious and humble for every single opportunity that has been placed in our footsteps father god so continue to just rain your blessings down on us father god and we thank you for your protection and your love please give us guidance for the sign of Libra for July 2021. We thank you again for all of the love in the past, present, and future. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. All right, let's okay. Sha -la -la, hello. So, you guys, every last single deck on this table here is brand new you guys have been supporting me while i was on my break shout out to every last one of you guys who have been booking readings so um we want to start off with this crystal grid deck here we want to see what we got so let's see what we got for libra give me guidance for libra should i one card all right you got the emerald i like okay hold on let's go to emerald city okay hello someone else got the emerald but i can't remember i can't remember it ain't about them, it's about you anyway. Okay, so this says, it, no, did someone get this? It says, emerald, spring, unity, vitality, lush, and remnants of the green of spring. Emerald is known as the stone of the source of love, stimulating loyalty, partnership, and friendship. Emerald opens up the heart chakra, healing the aura field, with unconditional love, hope, and joy, with exuberance and lust of life. The emerald is a sign of new beginnings and a fresh step in life, radiating health, prosperity, and vitality. Grow in the direction of your dreams and nurture yourself along the way. You deserve the riches that life has to offer you. This is the sign of Sagittarius, Venus, and Mars. Emerald. All right now, y'all better open up that heart chakra and let all that prosperity and everything look. Come on now, ease on down the road now, all right? Don't you want me nothing? I don't even know where. Let me shut up, okay? Because I was about to mess up the whole. <laughs> Let's see, we got the emerald. I like that unity. Okay, come on into partnership. Let's find out what's going on in general. Let's find out what's going on in general with Libra. Okay, come on. All right. 
The emperor, hold on, come on, pop out. Now, come on, pop out, emperor. He like, hold on, you all right? No, I came here to set the tone, okay? I'm on the throne, and I'm grown, okay? Hello? <laughs> all right? So, you got someone that is, like, in some leader, some very dominant, like, you know. You seen how that car just popped out? Just, like, boom, you know? It's like, I don't know, someone. And I said something about a, did I say something about a force of nature? In the prayer, I think I did. So I don't know. It's like this energy right here is a force to be reckoned with. This is like a very creative energy right here. It's like red hot. It's like you could be on fire. Like, especially if you have some type of gift, some type of talent, uh, a business, or um, something that you, that you, uh, I don't know, it's like you're on some type of list or someone can look you up online or whatever. It's like some type of services or something like that. Whatever you're doing, it may be, it, 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 it's on fire. And I feel like things are like in regards to you being able to be secure in your lifestyle, your ability to take care of your family, everything. I feel like there's a sense of security and like you feel like you've been handling things in a very like responsible diplomatic way like your reputation is very good or whoever this is is like has a very good reputation very good manager skills or something like that give me one more card all right let's see here you got the hierophant in the reverse so this has something to do with like breaking away from like um group thinking or something like that this is like when you have the emperor breaking away from the hierophant it's like it's like I, I don't necessarily like to be controlled by others or being told what to do or feeling like um just a number you know like I'm just a number to you it's like my presence really doesn't have that more that much more of importance than the other person but I feel like the work that I do the standard that I and the quality that I bring I should have a little bit more respect in that so it's like I don't necessarily feel like I need the protection of this group I don't even the benefits it's like it doesn't meet my standard anymore it's like I feel like I can find a better structure of my own I can build my own structure i can start my own business i can lead myself i don't need uh to answer to anybody it's you know it's like i feel like i'm past being governed by a corporate entity anymore so it's like i might want to just like do my own thing uh and again it's like your ideas are so different and it's like instead of having to go to the hierophant and trying to get them to believe in what you you were talented and what you're gifted in because it's like this is someone that's like old school setting their ways they have a total different standard of life and it's like they're not really changeable it's like they've been doing whatever the heck they've been doing in this corporate or in this organization in this group setting for years and they're really just not willing to update they're not you know what i'm saying it's not they're not updatable and it's like ever you stick to the way that they run things and their beliefs and their standards or it's time for you to phase out and it's it was time for me to phase out like i'm <laughs> I'm the new. I I am the modern. I am the updated. I'm the 2022 model, you know, of how things should be. And it's like I, I can't be governed by something that I don't necessarily believe in or doesn't fit. Uh, It doesn't fit. So I just, no. Mm -mm. Give me guidance for my Libras. I mean, I, yeah, I, 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 feel, I do feel like I might be walking away from a job, especially if y'all got y'all own skills, y'all own abilities, and it's like your belief in yourself, especially you know you can take care of yourself and you don't, you don't need this. So it's like, 
child. Uh, I actually make a little bit more money on my own. You got the the dog here. All right, I like that. That's just like I feel. Um, I feel like a nurture, like a love, like a companionship. It's just like a true partnership. It's like, um, I'm here grooming, but it's like a loving type of, it's like take, taking care of someone, making sure that they're healthy, making sure that they're okay, making sure there's no ticks, fleas, parasites, or not, you know what I'm saying? Like that type of grooming, like always brushing you, making sure that you are clean and you know like a really good house dog you know like waits for you in the window knows what time you're coming home every day and just hops on you as soon as you walk through the door it's just like uh lays with you watch movies just goes on the it's just like that type of uh it's like unwavering love it's just like that type of love where it's like it's never not a day in my life where I know that this this that's not my companion that this person does this this is unconditional you know what I'm saying like a forever type of thing it's no bond stronger like even next to the hierophant you see how the the goat or you know the sheep or whatever is, is sitting right there you know what I'm saying so it's like some type of best friend, you know what I'm saying, a companion, something, you know what I'm saying, that is just like right there that gives you that type of comfort, that reassurance, that, you know what I'm saying, that makes you know that I'm good, I, I, I'm, I'm solid, it's like I might have a loyal, uh, like following or something like that, yeah, the letter, it's like, the letter is communication, it's opportunities, it's, and then, what is this on here? This is the seven of spades. So the seven of spades represents, this like a tower moment. But sometimes with the spades, it doesn't represent something good. But the tower, in any way, is something, it's like a natural thing. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know if, like, you're sending some type of, I feel like there's some type of level of comfort in, reciprocity that is being given here that doesn't meet the standard of what's over here and it's like I can live without it so I don't know if you could be some level it, it could be by email text snail mail whatever but it's like some form of communication that is going to uh I want to say this be kind of shocking or just be something that's unexpected uh coming to these people or whatever this group is or this could even be a relationship if you want to look at it like that but again this is the general part of the reading so I'm not putting it like on that type of I'm not giving it that that type of energy but whatever it is it's like being given some formal communication to let someone know it's like I don't want to say it's like I've met another companion or I I have something that you know, ten of hearts. It's it completely makes me happy. It's it's everything that I want, and I'm completely fulfilled. You know what I'm saying? I I've I'm completely. I've reached my destiny. I, I I've reached my state of happiness. So it's like, mm -hmm. the emperor is like taking leadership, taking honor, being protective over. It something you know what i'm saying like that's typically a married man somebody that will marry something that will take the responsibility that will you know do everything that it's he's supposed to do to uphold whatever the standard is of that you know what i'm saying so um let's continue to go give me two more cards the libra you got the four of pentacles in the reverse one more card you got the seven of swords in the reverse. Uh -oh. Check the safe. <laughs> so, um, with the four of pentacles in uh, the seven of swords. Okay. I feel, I feel as though. It's like, uh, 
again, it's like, um, it's like close the safe. It's like, I don't know. It's like this person could have left and took all of their assets out of the, uh, 401k and just, it's like they could have cashed out or it like, say if it was, um, a business or something like this, it's like the, whoever the leader or the, the person at the top could have found out by email that you went in and, and, and took all your shares and, and, and sold it. And it's like, you took everything out of the bank. It's like on some sneak shit or something. It's like, they're finding out that you're leaving and you're not coming back and you sold your shares or you did something, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? It's like, again, like I said, the seven of spades is like something that's shocking. It's something that hits someone like, what? I can't believe that this person took all of the money. It's like, yeah. It's like, yeah. Or it's like something to the standard where it's like being underpaid, being feeling like, uh, it's like feeling robbed in some type of way. Um, the four pinnacles in reverse is like, it's like an unnecessary expenditure. It's like something that you want to have, but you can't have. And it's like the seven of swords. It's like, if you were trying to sneak around to pull money from somewhere to do something. It's like being caught or being found out about it's like some type of unnecessary it's like you shouldn't have took someone shouldn't have took something from somewhere because it wasn't it's like it, it it wasn't enough money in there for it not to be noticeable. Do you understand what I'm saying? It was like only four pinnacles. So if you go and take anything from four pinnacles, it's going to be noticeable. It's not like, okay, y'all had like 50 something pinnacles in there and you took four pinnacles. Like ain't, probably ain't nobody going to trip on that or even notice something like that. But it's like, uh, it wasn't that much. You see what I'm saying? So, um, or it feels like. I want to say someone feels like they were being robbed. They were being like a cheapskate. Someone is like try to manipulate them and didn't give them what they should have been owed. Or someone was like struggling financially or trying to figure out how to get by. And it's it's like it's like at the end of the day. Something wasn't working out for whoever this person was. You understand? So I don't know if they sold something and did whatever the fuck they did. But it's like they had to do what they had to do because I wasn't being given the respect. I was being underpaid. And it's like I had to figure my way out of it. And it's like I, I kind of knew that. You was going to find out. That's why I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? It's like you could be telling them. It's like I'm leaving. I sold the shares or something. And it may be like the way it was supposed to be divided. You didn't divide it the way that y'all might have had it discussed verbally. But it was just a verbal something. Like you, like you really shouldn't have trust me. Fuck you. Because like... <laughs> It's something where it's like someone uh, did something and it's like, but the seven of swords is not where you're being um, outright sneaky and underhanded. It's like where well, I'm mature enough to tell you this is what I did and this is why I did it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. I knew that you wasn't going to give me all my money or you said that you wasn't going to have it. So I just went in the bank. I saw it and I took it because I was leaving. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no point in you 
saying that you, you know, me leaving and then me having to come and hawk you down because you owe me money and I knew that you had it there. You owe me this. I took the shit. Shit is done. I'm not coming back. Fuck you. You got a problem, bitch. Sue me. And fuck you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's something to that aspect. It's like, because you see how the emperor is like, and I stand on that shit. And it's like the emperor, it's like if you want to go to war, it's like the emperor is the fucking emperor. It's like, yeah, you, yeah, if you want to do, do what you want to do. The fuck? You know what I'm saying? It's like, I got my own army. I got my own shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like the emperor against the, the hierophant. It's like, it's like, it's like the, the. The church going against the army. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, okay. Let me just keep moving. Because this is like some wild shit right here. But. I feel like that's how you had to do fair game. Because. It's like you had to do it like that. Because that was like the only way to outsmart the, these people. You know what I'm saying? Because, or negotiate your way. It's like, because the seven of swords could be like, coming in some type of terms of negotiation or, or you know, or alerting somebody to something. It's like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, look. Might want to let you know that, um, bloop, 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 and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you might not know that I took this, but look, I'm just going to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, <laughs> who else to tell you that your ass just got robbed but me? <laughs> I don't know. So, why don't you give me some guidance, believe me? It says, remind yourself that you are a soul spirited being. Someone just got this. It's okay. So again, it's like y'all growing through cycles. And for the emperor to come out, for you to be at the emperor stage, it's like I, it, it, you definitely don't have any problem with standing up for yourself. And I feel like it's um With the Seven of Swords being in reverse, it's like I don't have no time to play around with words and, and fuck around with people and trying to be slick. I'm just going outright, like, outsmart you at your own game and just, like, fucking to why I got to hide and just, like, I'm just going to, like, tell you, like, listen, the fuck, you know what I'm saying? I, listen, ain't no, ain't no point. It's no point. No point. I'm just going... We can agree to disagree and just move on and just be mature about it. Like, I don't have to sit up here and, and play this dumbass fucking game with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, move on. You know what I'm saying? I'm a soul-spirited being just like you are. You know what I'm saying? We just have our differences. And I'm going to take the little bit I got. And it's like the, the, the four pinnacles is like moving on with not that much. And it's like. Kind of like having to start over and rebuild. But it's like as long as you have your following. As long as you have the love and companionship from the people that support and love you. It's like you feel like you got something to build with. You have a foundation because you had something from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? You got to have something to lose to build it back. You feel what I'm saying? So let's go into love. Simulate in loyalty and partnership and friendship. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like ever you got some, it's like you have some type of loyalty, some following or something that trusts you, even if you don't even have a lot. Cause it's like they know that you broke away from a group and it's like you could be starting over or something. And then you got the silver waterfall shit. I don't even know what the hell that damn mean. Okay, let's see what we got. And then we got connection. So let me see what the hell I'm just getting. Because I ain't even seen this damn car before. Shit, y'all getting some new shit. Okay. You got the silver waterfall. And then you got the connection, you guys. 
So again, we were talking about opening up that heart chakra. I feel like emotion wise, I don't know if there's anybody in the LGBT community. I feel like especially we just went through the pride season i don't know if there was someone who was just a supporter and was just at pride parade and might have met someone or something like that or whatever and just like legitimately just on like a friend level just like met someone that could just like be like your dog like for real like that's your dog like you you i don't feel like you've crossed the border but like that's like your true friend like you really found like a connection um it, it could be someone that's a protector someone that you feel like um i want to say just kind of has your back as you trying to rebuild you know what i'm saying and just supports you it's just like your biggest fan you know what i'm saying like i don't know there could be some type of connection but that's for that in regards to just in general I feel like you guys are just loving life. You see how the bitch is naked? Look, she naked. She got her butt cheeks all out in the wind. Look, she all out there. Listen, trying to, okay, hello, how you doing? Okay, girl, you feeling yourself. Okay, we are reloaded. She is just like, I want to say loving your body. I feel like someone has come into a point in their life where their confidence about their body, maybe someone had dealt with something in the past, you see how that spawn is down there. I don't know if you have been working on your body, if things have just been shaping out, or if you just are starting to just love your shape and just waking up and just like, I'm a badass bitch. Like, I look good. Or I don't know if this is someone that a male energy with this emperor here wants a connection with someone. I feel like that is free. Um, I want to say free flowing, just like, uh, I don't want to say not too emotional and not not emotional. It's just like every day it's like I don't want to say a different personality, but it's just like a flip of a coin. One day I can have like a very serious person where we can sit down and talk about what's on the news and then the next thing we're going hiking and 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 streaking and jumping in ponds and you know, just like going rollerblading and, 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 you know, just doing very adventurous, different things. It's just like, um, there's something here about, I want to say developing new passions and getting to know not different things about each other, but about their self, just by having some type of connection and like having fun, just having a general fucking bond and I want to say like it's just a friendship it's just like a homie it's not it's like you not you it's like you're not looking to gain anything from this it's just something that is like you know what I'm saying it's just you just giving to it knowing that you know what I'm saying you you're not giving that much but like time because pinnacles could you just just be time and it's like you might not even have a lot of time to give but it's like you you still try to make time to hang with this person do you understand because the four pinnacles is like I, re I really should be doing this but I'm about to hang with you for a few minutes because you know what I'm saying like I like the connection we be hanging out doing a lot of shit like everything be like real blessed a lot of positive energy so like you know shit you know what I'm saying like it's something where it's like a very positive bond. I do want to check the book and see what the book has to say. Because, girlfriend, I have never. <laughs> okay, girl, I've never seen that one before. Okay, hello, how you doing? It says this. Okay. It says, stay balanced. Healthy and happy by raising your own vibrations. Oh, Lord, do I have to read all this? You ain't got no keywords or nothing. Shit, God damn. Child, I'm not about to read all of that. Listen, in the name of Jesus, we just listen. The Lord just told us what it means, and that's what the hell it's going to mean, okay? It's going to mean what the hell it means, okay? Boom, 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 drop. Okay, we done. <laughs> okay, hello, but that's not... Mm -mm. Girlfriend, no meal. I do not like that, girl. I was not about to read all of that, girl. <laughs> no meal. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, before we get into that, let's, let's go over here and see what this has to say. I like this. This is some okay. So especially if this like a 
it's a masculine energy here for like a, a Leo male. It's like you like to you like to be dominant. You like to you like to, to to lead like you know it's like you could even be a good dancer or just you know you like to lead conversations you like to lead you like i don't know it's like whoever this person is it's like this it's like they stroke your ego like i said like how the dog is literally waiting for you know the owner to come home and jumps on him and kiss and gives the affection it's just like okay this is, my love is like an ocean forever longing for your shore. You are an eternal ocean of love. I close my eyes and my heart is filled with rose quartz light. Okay, all of that. Okay, damn. Damn. Who, uh, okay, that's how you feeling, Mr. Emperor. Okay, all right. I need you to have a little shakoin stuff. I need you to have a little bit of my, I just... Uh, Okay, when your business taking off, like, do I need to help you? Like, do you, what well, we need to, I don't know about this four coins in the reverse. Like, what's going on with this four coins? Like, <laughs> like, God. Okay, anyway, but I like all of that. Okay, hello, sha la la. Okay, I don't know. Okay, let's see if these cards can, like, get these, like, four coins together, okay? Because I had to do with some type of business endeavors. They had nothing to do with the little, okay? <laughs> okay, hold on, sha la la. Listen, they had nothing to do with, okay. All right, let's see. Let it, oh. All right, y'all. Right, come on, Libra. Let it be. Let's see what's going on with this connection and silver waterfall. You showing your ass all out. Ooh, up. Uh, okay, girl. <laughs> mm -mm, don't be disrespectful. Don't. Girlfriend. Okay, hold on. You got the two of swords in reverse. You said, hold on, ain't listen. I might have to get the fuck up off my ass up off this one. You know, the two of swords always reminds me of someone sitting down can't make their mind up and they're like blinded to the reality of what they could have if they could just make a, a decision off of their intuition you know what i'm saying what is your intuition what is your gut telling you you know what i'm saying and this is someone that is just like i, I i'm i'm not even confused about this you know what i'm saying it's like i'm going with do you see how all of this is webbed into each other you see how this is, and this is the two of swords. You see how this is webbed into each other. It's it's a connection. So it's like it's like something that's undeniable. It's like how could I not? How could I be confused? You see what I'm saying? It's like how could I be confused? It's the the. Mm -mm. This is like someone taking movement, making a decision, taking action, standing up. You know what I'm saying? Like standing up in their shit. Like, no, you would just like me. Like our vibe is undeniable. It's unfuckwittable. Like, what the fuck would I, what else could I say? You know what I'm saying? So what is this? You got the ace of swords in the reverse. Lord Jesus. What is this? The temperance in the reverse. Okay, Lord Jesus. And then what is this over here? And then you got the world in the reverse. Okay. What the hell is this about? And what the fuck is all of these reversals about? Okay. So. This is saying something about. There being some level of. I want to say like repetitive patterns. And. Um, lack of balance. And lack of clarity when it comes to decision making. The temperance card right here, I want to say it has to do with beliefs and believing that. It, it, because what... I, it's like believing that you're deserving of what you are being presented with. The unicorn is special. But it's like with the Ace of Swords being in the reverse, it's like you don't understand. If you don't recognize and understand how special you are and how deserving you are of what is being presented in front of you. That's where that mental conflict is like because you're not sure you should have it and if it's real. You know what I'm saying? 
Temperance has to do with faith. It has to do with balance. It has to do with one hand that washes the other. You know what I'm saying? If God gives you that, intu that intuition, He gives you that faith he gives you he gives you something to believe in because it's like believing in something that's greater than yourself something that you can't see knowing that there's a higher power guiding you and that hears you and you got to trust it you know what i'm saying and not only that you have to trust in your ability to be able to call in the certain things into your life and be able to make better decisions you know and for things to change in your life this is something about someone like being kind of unsure of their self and it's like when good things come around it's like somehow with this world card it's like they fuck it up because i don't know what oh i don't want to say that it's like the sour kitty it's like um is this a cat what is that yeah it is it's like the sour kitty. I don't know. I feel like what they're saying about that. You know how sometimes you be going to people's house. And I don't really like cats like that. Because you never really know if it's a nice cat. Or if it's like one of them little sour mood kitties. That just be always mean and got an issue with people. And you but I can't. Okay can you get your cat? You know or just. uh, You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's something about with this world card being in the reverse it's like repetitive chapters repetitive it's like uh uh uh, uh. it's like okay because you see how the cat is like looking behind and it's not paying attention to what's in front of them so it's like an inability to move on and trust and believe in yourself that Again, it's something about making the right choices. Um, like, really walking. I want to say, like, walking on faith and believing in yourself. It's like, it's, it's something in here. It's like where, like, the unicorn in, in a reverse. It's like, you don't believe you are who you are. And that's why certain things are not coming to play. And that's why we're not moving ahead. And that's why certain things are not coming to a closure the way that they should is because you don't really see your life outside of this phase and this constant motion and this circle going round and round and round and round and round and round in the state that it is like you really don't because you see the boat is right here it's like god is trying to take you over there but you're not sure you want to go because you don't believe if there's anything over there you know what i'm saying and it's like but at the same time you can't say that because there has been telltale signs that whatever you've been connected to, you send your letter of termination, resignation. Um, you took what you needed to take so that you could make your escape. Honestly, I feel like you might have even fessed up and owned up to whatever it was that you done. Like, you don't give a fuck at this point. Like, whatever. But still... It's like you have to honor yourself by recognizing and knowing who you are and knowing that you're deserving of all the fruits and the benefits of being on the other side. But if you don't trust God to really take you over there, listen, baby, I've been in that situation before. I'm a, And if y'all know, y'all can go back and look at my old videos like y'all don't see me on this motherfucker, like really having to hold on because I literally... I was having to sell my house. I didn't know what the fuck my life was going to look like. I had a certain time to get out. I had to figure shit out. I didn't know. God don't ever let me down though. You know what I'm saying? And I just know that I would. I went through so much. I went through so fucking much. And in that house, I went through so much struggle. And I went through so many failed relationships. I, and, and I knew. I said, even though I don't know what my tomorrow is looking like. I know it looked better than... I know it's better than whatever the fuck I experienced here. And I had to trust myself that number one, I wasn't, I'm not going to fail myself. I'm not going to fail myself. And I know God has never let me down. He might let me sweat, but he always get me out at the nick of time. Always. If I don't have nothing, I have my faith. And I have my trust and my belief in myself and that I fucking deserve every goddamn blessing that is on the other side. 
But if you don't trust enough and believe in yourself enough, you're going to be stuck with these decisions and you're going to be stuck in the same cycle. Keep going round and round and round and round and round and round and round. So when you get it in your head and you can look at yourself in the mirror and you know who the fuck you are. And y'all already know my Libra is a unicorn gang gang up in here. Y'all already know what the fuck it is. And I mean stand in that shit. Stand in that shit. Then that's where we can go with this temperance card. You know temperance is all about balance. You can't have too much of your head in the clouds. You can't have your feet on the ground too much. You got to have balance. You got to have that spiritual and that logical earthly sense. You got to have it as the work in unison. Okay. So Libra, I'm about to get up out of here. Again, there's something that's an undeniable thing here. Undeniable. And I want to say it's a healthy decision because anytime you see like the little snake things like that, you normally see it in um, like hospitals and, and, and stuff that has to do with health. So it's something that is transformative. You got to remember, snakes do what? They grow and they shed skins. Right? Alright. We gotta go. I love you. Hit the like button. 